Hey, this is Tom for Deep Solver here to show you how to use the node lock feature. Um, obviously, people don't play GTO at the tables. Everyone has their leaks. And the node lock feature is a really cool tool to uh, use to figure out what kind of exploits you want to use against your competition, who all have their own tendencies and styles. So let's go to custom solution. Uh, let's go with a six, seven, five board, slightly deeper stacks. Let's click the preflop range library and let's go with a cutoff versus pick blind spot. Let's apply the ranges. Uh, obviously, we can use uh, all kinds of sizings here, but let's go with the ones provided here. Let's click calculate. And something that you will find often is uh, people automatically checking uh, when they're out of position in, in these uh, spots. Uh, but we would like to see what the solver suggests here. Uh, because often it has different ideas. And in this specific scenario, you can see uh, the GTO strategy being uh, out of position betting over half of his hands. Um, so we would like to find out what happens uh, from cutoff's view when the big blind instead checks more of his hands. So let's go to hand locking. And we could uh, manually uh, click check uh, for a lot of these hands and cut down his uh, um, betting frequency. Or, we, or what, what we could do is go with the lock all feature and uh, just assign check to the entirety uh, of his hands. Let's go with that. And what we're interested in is in uh, how cutoff uh, should uh, approach these uh, two styles, um, which we will see in a bit. So as we as we see, uh, the the check for out of position is one hundred percent right now. But uh, in position reacts quite drastically, and his check increased by thirty two percent to ninety one percent, which is pretty huge um, and the bets uh, are very small in frequency. We can use the compare GTO frequency if we would like to see uh, both of the mat matrices side by side. And here on the left side, we see the GTO one, uh, meaning the one versus uh, um, out of position who bets quite a bit. And on the right side, we see the one that plays versus uh, check uh, only. So what you can see is uh, on the left side, there's quite a bit of betting with hands that contain a nine or an eight. And on the right side, there's quite a bit of checking when it comes to those hands. There, there's not a, not a lot of betting at all. Uh, so. This is a really cool feature if you like to figure out um, how to play versus actual uh, human beings um, and not computers. And hopefully it will help you exploit your competition even better.